Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna look at how you can quickly build a website without code. This is something that even professional web developers and designers have to be aware of. You have to look at all these type of tools that are out there, tools to build websites without code, as tools in your toolbox. So even though these tools, there's many out there, we'll get into a couple here, are uh, powerful, and they can satisfy a lot of requirements, in no way does it put a dent in the developer and web designer opportunities. You'll see why. Well, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know why already. There are web builders out there where it's point and click, drag and drop on their website, and you build a site with their system. Bing, bang, boom, Bob Jarko, you got a site up. They're extremely limited in terms of their capabilities, but they do work. So the next level up from web builder is to use a content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now these are apps, PHP based apps, by the way, that you upload to your web server and then they provide all kinds of functionality that allows you to do point and click to build up websites with a lot of capability pretty quickly. There's a whole genre of web professional, WordPress professional, Drupal professional, and they install and configure and manage WordPress and Drupal installations for companies. So that's another way in which you can, without having to know code, you can actually get a website up that's pretty nice looking and pretty functional fairly quickly. This video is sponsored by Brizzy. It's a plugin. They have a free version that allows you to quickly and easily build websites with a drag and drop interface. Very intuitive looks very powerful. Check it out. There'll be more on Brizzy near the end of this video. So as I said, there are a few options you have out there for creating websites without code. You could use a web builder where you go to their site and you point and click and you build sites based on templates, etc. They work very limited, but they do have their place. Then you can take it to the next level with a tool that's based on a content management system like WordPress and Drupal. And there are also web design software out there like Dreamweaver, etc., where they rate a lot of the code for you and there's others. And so these are just a few of the options you have in terms of being able to build a website. And some websites can be pretty nice looking and pretty capable without knowing much about code. These type of tools are not a panacea. They can't do everything. You're not going to build Facebook with a, a WordPress site, but you can do a lot with them. Now, as far as developers are concerned, again, as I stated in many videos, you shouldn't look at these type of tools as competition. They're just tools that you can leverage in your own uh, work. So, you know, small business owners could use a tool like WordPress to install, configure, and so on, and that's cool but a lot of them may need your help to get things going at least. I can see situations where, I know I've seen situations where a small business owner who doesn't have the time to learn WordPress will hire a web consultant to set up their hosting, set up the WordPress, set up the template, set up the plugins, and then they have this system and then they can use uh, the WordPress user interface and the WordPress tools to maintain their website. These are for content rich websites where they may add articles and blogs, etc., on a regular basis. So you as a professional, a web professional can look at these codeless tools as RAD tools, rapid application development tools. I'm kind of twisting that a little bit because it's not technically a RAD tool, but it's a good way to at least get up some uh, a basic idea or a pretty good looking idea of what whatever websites you want to have up there. Um, you can use it for modeling ideas, getting things up in front of the uh, client's eyes very quickly. You may find yourself in a situation where the client, if you're a freelancer, just doesn't have the budget to do from scratch web development and design. So these type of RAD tools are, uh, are pretty cool. Now, don't get me wrong. They can't replace custom coding. It's, it's ridiculous, but they can do a lot. I use WordPress on all my sites, 
even though I write custom code, Studio Web, of course, is custom because it's a pretty advanced application. But for the vlogs and the blog, excuse me, on killer sites and killer PHP and how to build websites, etc., even Studio Web, we had a custom blog, but we use WordPress because it's just easy. So codeless website development is going to be faster, of course. You're going to be limited to a certain degree, although it's that's those limitations are really. They're not really that much in terms of limitations. Most of the times we want to stick to particular type of layouts and we've pretty much defined this over the last 15 years in the web design and development space. So again, using codeless website builders are a great way to test even a business model. You can quickly get a website up, promote it, see if people like it. And from there, if ever you need to expand beyond what uh, these codeless solutions can provide, you have that option. Although, again, for a lot of uh, companies, they won't need to. So the sponsor of this video is Brizzy. It's a pretty advanced tool that allows you to easily drag and drop and build a website without any coding skills. They have some really nice looking templates as well. Something I recommend for non-professionals and for professionals, take a look at Brizzy. They have a free version. You can try it out. And if you like, they have pro versions with different options. All right. We'll talk soon.